Hello, I'm Robert and I'm here with Aiden and we're here to talk about a topic that has raised concerns around the school. About 15 million people in the United States have allergies. That's one in every 13 people or roughly two in every classroom. Today we're here with Nurse Julie and Nurse at Lisbon. She's been here for over 20 years and we're also here with Renee Hazelis. She's a junior at Lisbon and she's had a peanut chair allergy since birth. Um, Nurse Julie, why is it important to raise awareness and have people understand allergies? Great question. Um, I think we have an increase in allergies right now. Like Robert said, one in every 13 students are now diagnosed with a food allergy. And we have students in the, in the school that have numerous food allergies, um, all the way from kindergarten or preschool, all the way up through 12th grade at this time. And the, the allergies are actually um, being diagnosed is on the rise. So it's very important to bring awareness to the school. What is a food allergy? Well, food allergy is much like, um, let's, let's say you're allergic to amoxicillin. You take the pill and you end up with a rash and you have a body or a systemic reaction to it. A food allergy is very similar. So you eat the food, your body recognizes it as an allergen, something it doesn't like, and then people can either have a simple food allergy where they you know, might have a rash or may have that tingly feeling in their throat or on their lips or tongue but it doesn't go to the anaphylactic part of it, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But a food allergy is just when the, uh, the body cannot break that food protein down and then they have a reaction. What are the most common food allergies? Actually, I, I have a list of them for you. The eight common foods that cause me, the majority of allergic reactions are milk, egg, peanut, tree nuts, soy, wheat, fish, and shellfish, like um, um, shrimp. It would be one, but yeah, we have somebody with an allergy of each one of these in the building today. How can these reactions be prevented? Um, education, I think, is the biggest thing. We're this why we're doing this video. Um, so we are um, implementing a policy at school that we will no longer have um, homemade snacks brought to school. Um, the only foods that will be allowed in the classrooms are either food that's been purchased in the cafeteria or has the little green dot on them, um, like from the a la carte uh, portion of the cafeteria, as well as the vending machines will have the green dots. So that means there's no peanuts, no peanut butter, tree nuts allowed in any classroom, preschool through 12th grade in our entire building. So the only place you can have peanut butter is in the cafeteria. So if you, the kids who bring peanut butter sandwiches can still do that, um, and the tables are wiped down in between to help reduce that reaction. Um, one thing I might add, like let's, let's say I had a peanut butter sandwich for breakfast, and I come in and I have peanut oil on my hands, mm -hmm. which you, you have to use soap and water to get off. And let's say I touch this chair, and then Renee comes up and touches that chair. She can react to that t um, peanut oil just by touching it and have a reaction. Um, Department of Ed is recognizing high school kids need to eat. But in order for it, in order for it to keep the kids safe who have those allergies, we have to make sure there's no peanut butter or tree nut, those kinds of things in the high school. So reading the reading the labels is going to be the biggest um, the, the biggest hurdle because a lot of parents have never had to read a label before. Many students have had to read a label. So we are actually going before the board uh, for the first reading on November 14th, and we'll go to the second board meeting in December, and then. They have to read the policy twice in order for it to be put in place. And then on our website, we'll have a list of, of different foods that are okay to bring, fruits, vegetables. Um, if it's got a sandwich you have to bring, you're going to have to bring the meat in a container or just eat the meat out of the container. So like a homemade turkey sandwich from home. You can eat in the cafeteria, but you just can't eat it in the classroom. Um, have you ever had a like, reaction? When I was young. and. I do, um, when I and when I ingest or I move around that stuff, I do start, my throat will start to close up and I'll start having trouble breathing. But I, I've only ever had to have, um, I've never had to use my actual EpiPen, but I have had um, epinephrine shots before when I was really young. Can I add, when we had this wellness committee going and I just opened it up to every staff member, if you want to be on this committee, please come on down the meeting. 12 staff members came down. Some who have kids in the building, some who don't have any kids, um, but I think the care and concern from the staff 
they're, they are definitely concerned and want to do what's best for kids, obviously, and are trying to, you know, educate. But that's been our biggest thing all the way through. We have to educate. Because um, at first, I don't think kids understood, you know, how severe these are. And um, until they see something happen, which we don't want them to see anything happen. So that's why we need to educate. And that's, that's what we're trying to do this video, through the board policy, through the website. We're going to um, email blast. We're going to try to get everybody as educated as possible. If food does come to school that is, does not meet these, this requirement for no peanut for tree nuts, it will not be allowed to be consumed in any room. Um, and uh, it'll just be sent home. And at first, that it might be hard for, for some kids and parents, and we'll try to find a replacement snack for them. But um, there's many schools, many, many schools that are uh, peanut-free. We, we consider ourselves allergy aware, because it's not only peanut and tree nuts, but lots of other allergies. We can't guarantee this entire school is peanut-free, because we'd have to monitor every lunchbox. You know, everybody have to wash their hands when they came in the door. Um, it's, that's just something that we don't have the staff to do, nor you know, peanut butter is a great sandwich for those kids who can eat it. Yeah. But, um, but I think educating is going to be the biggest part of all this. I wanted to thank you, Renee and Julie, for coming in and helping us with this video. And to spread awareness for food allergies, because people don't know how severe food allergies really are until it happens. Right. Thanks for that.